Hi practice buddies, welcome to the viewing gallery again in my Star Destroyer. Today we're going to do shifting. We're going to learn all about shifts and how to do them. And then we're going to see how I found this Star Destroyer. So make sure you watch to the end so you can see where I got this Star Destroyer from. I'm your host, the Violin Jedi, and let's get straight into it. Okay, so there's two types of shift. There's the over and up shift, and there's the underneath shift. The over and up shift, which is like a bird of prey which flies up into the air, over its prey and then hits it from above. The snake shift is where the snake slides along the ground and then grabs its prey from underneath. We're going to look at both those shifts and we're going to start with the snake shift. So we're going to start with one on D which is an E and we're going to go to G sharp. So we're going to go from first position to third position. Ready, go. You see how the thumb and the first finger work in tandem. The thumb actually determines the position. So if your thumb stays behind and your finger goes, you're still in technically in first position, you're just extending. So your thumb and your first finger need to travel together. Okay, that's a snake shift. That's where we keep the first finger on the string. And it slides up to the third position. Now we're going to put the second finger to the note above the G sharp, which isn't going to be an A, but it's going to be on the D string. Still in third position, so we're going to go, and there's a bird of prey shift, so we're going to go. Great, so you can see how the first finger brings the second finger up, the second finger is the bird of prey, and then the bird of prey lands directly onto the note when you get there, the A. So the first finger does a kind of bird of prey as well. Okay, let's add the three. And let's add the four now. We're going to go to C, still on the D string. Now let's try going from one string to another. So we're going to go from the two on A string in third position, which is an E, and we're going to go to one on D, which is an octave below. And let's try walking it up from the D string. So we're going to go one on D, two on D, one on D. So we're going to go to third position again. So do you see how the second finger is walked back by the first finger on the way down? Okay, so let's practice all those shifts one more time and then we can combine them together to make a kind of tune and while I play the tune I'll show you how I got this Star Destroyer. Let's start with one on D.
Did you hear the artifacts in the shift itself? Now we, when we actually do the shift in a performance, we would want to get rid of those artifacts and this is how we'll do it. Put the two down before the one sounds at its destination note. And the action of the arm, the forearm, is the same for every shift. It's simply a straight wrist backwards and forwards. So we keep the whole forearm and the wrist straight. We don't cup the hand like this and we don't convex the hand out like that, the wrist out like that. Everything is straight and level. The thumb should be able to keep a butterfly alive between itself and the wood. So if you can trap a butterfly in your imagination, of course, between the wood and the thumb and keep it alive then you're doing well that means you've got the correct pressure if you push too hard and you crush the butterfly shift is wrong let's try a really long shift now we're going to go all the way up to D sharp I think we're ready to see how I acquired this Star Destroyer. Computer, show them how I got the Star Destroyer. 